Hi, my name is Darren. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Impul. Um, I'm going to give you some uh, overview of growth-driven design today. Um, apologies for the very plain slides, um, but uh, I hope that the content makes up for that. So let's start off with what are the characteristics of a traditional web design project. First of all, it requires a large amount of time from a team of experts. The cost of these projects uh, for small to medium businesses between $15,000 and $80,000 and that's an upfront cost. Generally it takes three to five months to, to um, get a, a new web, web, website uh, designed from start to finish. Um, and the problem as well is that all deliverables are planned up front. So you make thousands of little guesses and assumptions that you never go back and validate. Um, you launch uh, the version of your website and um, it's treated as the best version. You never go and, and try and fix it and you don't treat anything else like that, um, however you treat your website like that. Then generally there's minimal changes for one to two years and then the site becomes so outdated and um, when you finally realize that it then takes another three to five months before you get a new website. Um, as a result of this model, um, website projects are often over budget and delivered late. This is weird because a website is usually a brand's number one marketing asset and a constant working salesperson. So building a website in this manner is just illogical. This type of website design is also really bad for agencies because it's really difficult to grow with unpredictable project work. Um, when there's out of scope work because the project is so large, it's very difficult to predict exactly what needs to be done. That out of scope work eats into your profit margin and the traditional web maintenance retainer is, is not strategic. It just allows a, a, a brand to make small little updates to their, to their website as required. So with traditional website design, designers decide what's going to happen to that website. They, di they dictate what the action is, they talk to the clients, they talk to the team and they look at trends. They make lots and lots of educated guesses on what they think they'll work and then they decide what to build. If you look at growth driven design, it's the complete opposite. Users drive the action. So users tell us what to build based off their behavior and, and action. So we watch what users are, are, are showing us um, through analytics, through other types of research, and we then make our website change based on that um, insight. Um, and they also show us what's not working, obviously, and we can make our, our website change based on that insight. And then the role of the strategist is to actually decide what is going to be built based on this research that we have available to us. So growth-driven design, GDD, um, is made up of three areas. First of all, strategy, then the launchpad website, and then the continuous improvement cycle. So I'm going to go into each of these three in a little bit more detail now. So first of all, the strategy stage. The point of the stage is to get an empathetic understanding of users as how best to fit this website into their lives. You need to understand what are their challenges, what are their goals, who are they? Just to name a few of the questions you need to really understand um, about, your, about your users. And the resulting um, uh, thing after, after going through the strategy stage is a long wish list of 75 to 200 items that includes pages, features, sections, modules, and so on. Moving out of the strategy stage, you go into the launchpad stage. Um, and a launchpad, launchpad website is one that has the core value-adding elements in it. It's not perfect, and you'll never, ever get a perfect website. If you have that mindset that you're aiming for perfection, um, that is a, a, an incorrect mindset. It is better than the site that's there today, though. And what it allows you to do is quickly start collecting user data, and that allows you to move into the continuous improvement stage where you're going to continually improve your site. Usually the Launchpad site is launched within 45 days of initiating the project. So moving on to the continuous improvement stage, which is the stage that you end up staying in, um, you need to identify what needs to be improved and you need to prioritize what you find. So there's going to be thousands and thousands of things that can be improved and where do you, where do you focus? Where, where, what's more higher importance rather than something else? And this is where the website hierarchy comes into play. Um, and we'll explain the website hierarchy a little bit later. But it essentially allows us to help 
uh, focus on certain areas and allows us to, to set goals and measure those goals. Um, and so we know that we're working towards a, a strategic um, improvement. The continuous improvement cycle goes through um, through phases. So you start with the plan phase, which is what are we going to do in the next cycle. Then the build stage, where you actually implement those action items. The learn stage, which is where you're looking at the results of those things that you implemented. And the transfer stage, where eventually you share your learnings uh, to help you with the next cycle. So what that means is with growth-driven design, you never stop working on a website strategically. And you're always trying to improve it. Just to end off, the last couple of additional benefits of growth-driven design is costs are spread over time, so there's no uh, none of those upfront project costs. Um, there's no need to shift a huge amount of time and resources to a monster project. So your marketing team or brand team aren't going to have their focus completely shifted while you go to that three to five month project period, and it's agile. So there's no need for a huge planning for this massive project, and then five months down the line you may launch and for example the value propositions that you plan may be irrelevant because your business has changed in those five months. To watch the next video um, head over to our YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be giving uh, sh these short little updates on growth driven design which will enable you to get your growth driven design HubSpot certificates um, in record time.